Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, like I said, I'm going to try and tell you guys which cards I'm using. So these are my Tarot Illuminati and if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. All right, so... We're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, dealing with. Okay, work. Work can always be a troublesome thing. What do you need to focus on? Emperor. Love it. <laughs> what energies do we have coming in? All right. Three popped out, so I'm going to take those. Try something new because Eight of Pentacles can represent a new money-making opportunity, right? It can be something new, something different. Um, we have Two of Pentacles, again, more with money. And then we have the Princess of Pentacles. And this is my favorite card out of this deck because I love how the sun is there. It's coming up over the horizon. I love the colors. I love how vivid it is. She's holding her wheat and her pinnacle, which represents prosperity and good things coming in. Um, so for future energy, it looks really promising. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to use my Gilded Tarot. So struggling with work. Work can definitely be a struggle. You're having a hard time. Could have to do with money because pentacles can also represent money. Um, I feel like these days we're all struggling with money, right? We're all having those tough times. We're all having to cut back. So that can definitely be a problem. Could also be with your budgeting. All right. It's not looking so good. It's looking kind of gloomy. You know, wondering when things are going to turn around. Not feeling confident in the situation. Um... Definitely, so if that's the energy that you're feeling, so what you need to focus on is the emperor, right? So you're saying, okay, the problem is I'm not budgeting good enough, I'm not watching my money good enough, my, more money's going out than coming in, I'm not happy at, happy at my job. Um, so now, how do we take care of that situation? What are those things that you can do? What are those things that you can control? What are those things that you can start learning? I feel like it's gain your power back, right? If this is what's draining your power, if this is um, in the minus column, then this is in the plus column. <laughs> Nine of Cups. I feel like it's turning your emotions, turning your outlook around, saying, okay, I've identified the problem. How do I get control of it? Do I need to do bu better budgeting? Or have I been budgeting? Do I need to start looking for another job? Do I need to get more education to learn to advance within my job? Do I need to, is there a side hustle that I'm thinking of that maybe I can do something on the side? Um, you know, even if it's just walking dogs, right? Um, going on one of those sites and um, I signed up for that um, I haven't I've filled all of it out and then it I just I don't know my main thing right now is I want to focus on my YouTube channels and my Amazon influencer so that's what I'm trying to focus on but I have that as a backup and I also do hair so it's like I have a lot of things that I can do as a backup and what are those things that you can do as a side hustle? What is that, those things that you can work on that can help you with your situation? But it's all about turning that energy that you have, turning it around and saying, how can I accomplish this? How can I get this under control? And that's up to you on, on this whole situation. If you're going to let this situation drag you down and control you, right, then that's something that you have to try and take a hold of. Yes, there are days when we feel down. There are days when we feel not so strong, but 
we give ourselves that time and then we turn things around, right? Then we start have that hope and that guidance. Okay, I need to take control of this situation. What is it that I can do to change the situation? Um, and start acting on those things. Start doing on those things that can turn it around because this is what the results are. It's that prosperity. It's that, okay, yeah, not only did I turn things around and I'm making more money and things feel more balanced and you know, I'm feeling stronger, but that I saw that there was a problem and I took care of it. I didn't let the situation um, take control of me. Things start happening for you. Why is because you made the changes, right? That you got yourself into this nine of cups energy and you say, I'm going to achieve, I'm going to accomplish, I'm going to get past it. Hearing the message, judgment, releasing those burdens and not having that weight on your shoulders anymore. It's all up to you right? It's, it's up to you to make these choices and these decisions. There are always going to be challenges that are going to try and take away from you, right? They're going to try and they're going to be in the minus column, but you have to look at the plus column is how can you add more to the plus column, right? How can you get past this situation? How can you change things? Like I said before, it's all about your perception. It's about your attitude. It's about that can do mentality, and like I've said before, I feel like that's what tarot has done for me is turn those things around so that I'm not always looking at the minus column, I'm looking at the plus column. That I'm putting myself into this nine of cups energy, right? That I'm making things happen for me. All right, so I'm gonna use my energy oracle cards and get some energy for the reading. Energy, energy. What energy do we have for this reading? We have rest and rejuvenation. If you need that time to say, okay, I realize that this is what I have to do, but mentally I'm not right. I'm not there. I'm not in that nine of cups energy. Like that's okay then. Then take that time to rest and to build your strength up, to get yourself back into this emperor energy. We also have seventh chakra and that represents the crown chakra and that represents your intuition believing in yourself right saying i can fix this i can take control of this situation i can turn this around right i can make the changes i have to change my attitude first i have to change my outlook first that's the most important thing if you're saying that you're going to fail and you're not going to make it well then that's the energy that you're putting out there if you're saying, okay, this is a tough situation, but I'm going to get past it and I can do it, then you're taking control of this situation. This situation's not taking control of you. All right, let's get a Star Dragons. I'm feeling like this one right here. I guess these two, these two want to come out. <laughs> we have healing, restoring hope. Exactly. Um, we have the Star card. You can restore your own hope, right? Be your biggest supporter. Be your own cheerleader. Yes, it's great to have the support of the other, of people around you. But if you're not cheering on yourself, how can anyone else help to cheer you on? And then we have vision, contemplating the future, looking towards the future and saying, I am strong, I can do it, I can get past this. I can persevere, I can push through. All right, let's get an animal oracle for this reading. What? Okay, we had a whole bunch come out, but I'm not gonna take all of them. I'm just gonna take the top one that I saw. We have antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Life is speeding up, right? That we have, it seems like it seems like it was just the holidays, right? And now the holidays are past us. And it seems like the new year was coming up. And now the new year is already here. and We're already, you know, a quarter of the way into the year. And it just seems like yesterday we were, you know, thinking about, I can't wait for this new year. And now the new year is here. And life goes by so quickly and it just seems... Like, we don't want to spend a lot of time in the negativity. That 
if we want to change or we want to enjoy each day that we have to turn that around right that we have to change our outlook and that we don't want to waste any more time with a negative you know we don't we don't know how much time we have on this earth and we want to make that time that we do have enjoyable and positive and the best that we can all right and then i'm going to get the wisdom of the oracle and we have soulmates i feel like it's yes it's good to have that soulmate and that person and um that support system but i feel like being your own key right because this penguin has the lock and this penguin has the key but i feel like the key is being your own best soulmate right and being your own best partner and that you have to be happy within yourself first before you can be happy with anyone else you have to build that life that you want to build and have those things and do those things and have that support and that confidence within yourself right that you have to have that first because you could have all the money in the world you could have all the relationships or the you know the best relationships or tons of friends or you know that partner but if you're not happy within yourself then none of that is none of that really makes that's not going to make you happy right that if but if you're happy within yourself and that's something that I've been learning that's something that you know I was always thinking well if I if I do this or I do that or this person does this for me or this person does that for me, I'll feel better. And I'm always trying to get to the next thing. And then sometimes it works for a little while, but then it's like, you know what? <laughs> it just sort of disappeared and it just sort of went away. And it's just like, okay, I'm, I'm back where I was. But when I learn to be happy within myself and strong within myself and being my own cheerleader and recognizing okay there's going to be days when I'm feeling frustrated and I'm feeling sad and that's okay I'm going to let those 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 days or hours happen but then I'm going to be my biggest cheerleader and I'm going to pick myself back up obviously if you've been watching my videos I've been emotional lately and that's okay because I'm going through some changes and so I'm having my struggle struggles too but this morning I was like you know doing those positive things that helped me to push forward and to keep going and just talking out loud to myself saying you can do it you can accomplish this right that you can make things happen that things are going to be okay and just telling myself that and if that's you know what you need to do then go ahead and do that but you you're strong we're all strong we all can push through all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i'll see you next time